All right, if you're in the market for a new best friend, the Detroit Zoo might be just the place for you. The Michigan Humane Society is hosting its Meet Your Best Friend at the Zoo event. That's where hundreds of cats and dogs and puppies and kittens will all be up for adoption. And this morning, we're joined by Devin Bianco, the uh, marketing associate for the Michigan Humane Society. And we're also joined by this little guy. This is Ralphie. All right, so tell us a little bit about Ralphie. He's just one of the types of dogs and uh, pets you might be able to find at the zoo this weekend. Yes, yeah, so Ralphie will be at the zoo wow. this weekend, so you'll be able to meet him there. But he is a Border Collie and Husky Cross, so he's going to be a big boy. He's about 12 weeks old right now, so he's still in that cuddly, playful puppy stage. Yeah, with like super soft fur. All right, so uh, how many uh, animals are going to be there? Are we expecting like... You oh, said yes. hundreds? Hundreds of animals, um, not just from us, but are also going to be joined by several other organizations around Detroit who will be there also with their adoptable puppies and kittens. All right, now if someone is saying, hey, you know something, I would love Ralphie or some other pet uh, to bring into my home. Do you have to pay for this event? Uh, tell me what uh, folks will find yeah, uh, when, so they, when they show up. All they have to do is just really show up to the zoo. You don't have to pay the admission because I think we are outside there, so you don't have to pay the zoo admission. You can just show up and go and see the puppies and kittens that are available. And when you come, make sure you have, at least for the Michigan Humane Society, we would like you to have your driver's license or a form of identification, along with some form of um, payment. So. Some form of payment. How much does it cost and are uh, fees, are they the standard fees? Um, yep, they are the standard fees. For puppies and kittens, it's going to vary depending on the age. Mm -hmm. So just be aware of that. You said depending on the age, are older uh, dogs, like senior dogs, are they less expensive? Yep, they're going to be less expensive. Ralphie here is going to be a little more expensive because he is a puppy. Oh, but he's worth every penny of it. He has super soft fur and a really nice uh, disposition here. Mm -hmm. He is very sweet. He will get to be about 55 to 80 pounds, so he's not going to stay this small, cute, and cuddly forever. Um, but he is a love bug. He is playful at times, so just be aware that he's not always going to be this little sleepy and cute and just quiet. He's a, yeah. You said he just woke up from a nap <laughs> not too woke long up ago. From nap, so. so he's uh, building up his energy here. Oh, now, yes. if someone does go to the event, they find a dog or uh, like Ralphie or a kitten, can they bring that animal home that day? Yep, they can bring that home that day. Um, we do ask that if you do have any pets at home, please keep them at home and do the introductions there. Um, we only have room for our adoptables, so there will be so many of them. All right, uh, here's the uh, a look at where things stand. It is this weekend, Friday and Saturday, uh, noon to six Friday, 10 to five Saturday. Devin Bianco with the Michigan Humane Society. Thank you so much for <laughs> joining us so this much. morning. And thank you, Ralph. You look at him, he's now he's over here rolling over. He's doing tricks. You really want to get a home, don't you? All right, thank you so much for for joining us uh, here on 7 Action News this morning. And remember, the news is always on online at WXYZ.com.